Welcome back, my dear students. So in this lecture, I want to take a look at a couple more modules here so that you guys can have a better understanding of some of the modules and some of the their, some of their importance. So let's continue here. Let's talk about another module that I like to use a lot and is the read line module, okay? So let's go ahead and create that real quick. Let's create a file called readline. Let's call this readline.js. And let's start creating something here. So, of course, we can come back here and pull this in. Readline by doing a require. And so this module is already included when we installed Node, okay? Just keep that in mind. Let me just make sure that. And the reason why I have this underline here is because I'm not using that variable, okay? All right, so the, re -mod the Reline module, okay, is basically a wrapper around the process standard output and the process standard input objects okay so and you know when I say a wrapper I mean like a more functionality on top of it and something easier to understand and it's just a lot easier to do so instead of using the process standard input and output directly we can just use the read line and you know do a lot a little bit more complex things in an easier way okay so for example um, Let's set this up first, okay? And we can use constants if you want to do that here. And this is a constant is a new thing in ES6, okay? In JavaScript set. So remember, I have a course on that. So basically, this is basically a constant. This is like a variable, but something that you're not going to be able to change the the value of it later, okay? So you can really set constants to reline. Uh, you can set reline to this now and then later on change it to something else, okay? Because it will not allow you to. So this is already, let me just put this you no know, here. So I can do that or I can just leave it at var here just to not confuse things. So let's do, let's just leave it up there for now. But I'm going to start using ES6 functionality later, okay? Little by little, I'm going to introduce you to some of it if you guys don't know about it. So right now, let's set this up. I'm going to set up another variable here. I'm going to use this variable on top and I'm going to use a function here called create interface. And this is going to take two parameters, two arguments here. First one is the standard um, input, okay, object. And the second one is the standard output. Oops. Or should I say stud out, okay? There's a lot of programmers that call it that. Now that we have this, we can play around with it. So let's start playing around. Let's go ahead and basically ask a question in our terminal or a program, right? And then this question will be something like, hey, let's say something like, um, what is your name? Okay. And this is going to take a callback function. And we can use some of the ES6 features there by doing the the parentheses by itself instead of putting the function name in front of it or behind it like this I'm just gonna omit that okay and now this is gonna bring back a answer or should I say a name because that's what we're asking here right but you can name this whatever you want so this is called the arrow function in ES6 okay I know it seems a little bit confusing here but I want you to get used to doing that remember it's the same thing as doing function and taking this arrow out. So now that we are asking a question, I want you to see how it looks like when we are answering it. Let's run the file. Let's call this reline. Let's say no reline JS. Enter. What is your name? I'm going to say Edwin Diaz. And we should see that back. And you see that? comes back to us and now it's still waiting for us to keep writing stuff okay so control C to exit clear 
okay very simple program here but we can you can do a lot more things with it uh, let's start playing a little bit more with it so that way you can see the power on it so let's say uh, let's set a prompt here and you can see all the stuff I can do here okay so set a prompt it's just gonna ask a question okay again so we're gonna set the prompt but we have to also prompt it later and I'll show you what that means let's use template strings here this is the ES6 features as well and let's echo back the name so we're gonna say hey uh, let's say if I answer Edwin Edwin how old are you how old are you okay and now of course we want to display that prompt and the way we display that prompt is by saying prompt like this so this is when when I said you have to prompt it that's what I mean so we set the prompt here okay and then we display it so now here is where we're gonna be saying how old are you because right here we're just setting it up okay so now we need a listener for this because right now we have no way of listening to this this is um, we need to find out what's going on here right we're setting it but then when we prompt it we need to find out we need to listen to this guy here okay let's set up a listener this wrapper reline has a listener so on line that's what it's called we are going to receive a function now I can use the old syntax like this but I want you guys to get used to the new syntax so I'm gonna take off the function I'm gonna use the arrow here simple as that get used to it because you're gonna see it a lot especially when you jump into things like angular and react I mean when you when you jump into new frameworks out there with JavaScript you're gonna see the new uh, ES6, ES6 and later syntax okay so we are gonna get some type of response here but of course we're asking how old is that person so we are going to get the H okay let's get to it guys alright so we can start doing things with the data here so I, I can say if the age is less than 18 then we can say something to that user right and by the way there is another utility or another uh, module that I like to use called the uh, util it's an utility really cool module but it has a whole bunch of uh, helper functions there that are really useful and it's just called util and as you remember this is all included when you download node okay so instead of doing console.log I can use util.log and what's the difference well the log functionality here on this object it's just gonna give us a, gives us a timestamp okay I'm gonna use template strings here and I'm gonna say well um, Edwin or whoever that is and let's just trim it too. Oh, by the way, I can use functions on that. There we go. JavaScript stuff. And because you are years old, you cannot proceed. Actually, yeah, that's fine yep that looks good now let's say here we want to if that person is older than 18 years old we want to do something else right so let's just copy this whole line here real quick and Edwin you are is great that you are because now you can enjoy our services whatever that is right <laughs> whatever services that is now when we are done here this is gonna keep prompting us we want to actually close this all right like that and we probably want to do the same thing to this here 
okay make sure you save your files and now let's see if we don't have any errors here and by the way guys when you see me writing a lot of code here you might want to just write some code and execute the file just in case you have any errors okay so what is your name I'm gonna say Edwin Diaz how old are you Edwin well I'm gonna say I'm 17 which I'm now of course Edwin Diaz because you're 17 years old you cannot proceed you see how that works and look at the timestamp here from our utility module right pretty cool stuff let's execute the file again uh, there we go how old are you I'm gonna say I'm 30 it's great that you are 30 years old because now you can enjoy our services right so this is just to give you an example here of some of the core modules that we have in Node.js and how to use it I think this was a pretty good a little application here to give you an idea but don't get don't dive too deep into this uh, remember that the main focus here in this course is to teach you all the fundamentals with Node.js and take you to the next step of using frameworks and, and creating more advanced applications with the help of tools that are going to make our lives a lot easier because coding in Node.js you know core Node.js is a little bit difficult and it can be a really hard learning curve now it could be very rewarding in the future but it's not our main focus in this course main focus is to get you with the fundamentals so you can keep going and growing um, you know learning about frameworks learning about different tools and different technologies out there thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture guys